the greatest film of the original trilogy, one of the best sequels ever made, and the movie Star Wars fans love the most, just so happens to be the one where George Lucas was involved the least. Hmm. The Empire Strikes Back. You love the fun-filled space adventure where evil is vanquished and everyone gets a medal. Yay! Now, watch the rebellion get crushed, the comic relief get frozen, and the ultimate evil tell the hero, who's your daddy? I am your father. In a sequel so dark, it's become the lazy shorthand for any time a franchise turns even slightly to the dark side. Yeah, well, this is actually The Empire Strikes Back of Honest Trailers. So there, yeah. Witness a movie full of excellent directing, great acting, brilliant dialogue. Why, you stuck up, half witted, scruffy looking nerf herder! Gorgeous music and iconic moments that will stay with you for a lifetime. I love you. I know. But, uh, let's see. What the nitpick here? Uh, sometimes they pronounce Han Solo's name different. Han! What about Han? Han, get up here! Do you think that after what you did to Han, the world Haha! You suck, perfect movie! Ah, oh, this is gonna be a tough one, isn't it? Revisit all of your favorite characters three years after they shot their balls into the egg hole. Like Princess Leia, who's proof that Lucas either didn't have these movies planned out as much as he claims, or he was into some pretty weird stuff. Han Solo, a charming smuggler who's not afraid to make a point with his hands. No! Uh -huh. I can arrange that. Put them back together. You know where Commander Skywalker is? That's right, my friend's out in it. Wait a second. That could you punch it! Shh! Turn her around. Stand by the man who released and Luke Skywalker, the magical moisture farmer who's no longer a whiny brat, now he's just dumb. Whether he's crashing his X-Wing into a swamp, getting tricked into a hole, running out of a warm cave to freeze to death, losing a fight to slow moving pieces of furniture, or ignoring the advice of the last living Jedi. Luke, you must complete the training. Oh, I can't keep the vision out of my head, they're my friends, I gotta help them. Well, at least they have a spare. In a world where sequels and reboots coast by on nostalgia alone, enjoy a sequel that takes everything you love about Star Wars and actually builds on it. Adding all new worlds like Hoth, a planet made of ice, Dagobah, a planet made of snakes, and Bespin, a planet made of matte paintings, each one of them full of amazing all new characters like Lando Calrissian, a gambler who won a mining company in a card game, I think? Boba Fett, the biggest movie badass with the least amount of screen time. And of course Yoda, the Jedi Master who trains Luke in the ancient art of uh, uh, entering spooky caves, not trying anything. There is no try. And flipping for no reason. Wait a second, these pointless gymnastics remind me of someone. <laughs> That's where the prequels got all the dumb flipping around from? Whoa, mind blown. So strap in for the Star Wars movie that's so good, they barely touched it in the special editions, representing the absolute peak of the franchise, when the prequels could still be good. Then we go back 20 years, and we do the story of young Darth Vader and young, the young Alec Guinness character, and in the third film, which precedes Star Wars, you see. Like a prequel. That's right. They had an actual end date in sight. If Lucas makes all nine episodes, the Force may be around until 2001. And people didn't take these make-believe characters so freaking seriously. Han Solo and Princess Leia and, uh, and uh, the Wookiee and, uh, and uh, C... Three CPO. Three CPO. Starring the Wookiee, Three CPO. Cool hand, Luke. Ray's mom or aunt or something. Hand Pointo, worst Kinder Egg ever. Adultish Gambino, the dude from the holiday special. The hardest level in the Rogue Squadron N64 game. And run, 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 jump. I can be your backpack while you run. The Empire Strikes Back of Star Wars. No! Like father, like son, I guess. He is the most iconic villain of all time. Now, we'll show him the true power of the dark side. They say girls want a guy that reminds them of their dad. That's why I've been using my vibrator so much. I'm a grown man, you hear that, Obi-Wan? I've got the high ground now. Me, you dick! A tough black exterior with a soft, weak white man inside. <laughs> you're not a Sith, you're Drake. Screen Junkies presents The Roast of Darth Vader, exclusively on Screen Junkies Plus.
Watch now. This sad display is exactly why I watch Star Trek. Live long and prosper, nerds. <laughs> this will be a day long remembered. The roast of Darth Vader is here. Click the box on the left to watch the second worst roasting of Anakin Skywalker's life. From Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yoda, Luke Skywalker, and more. You can watch for free when you register with a Facebook account. And if the Force still isn't with you, click the box on the right to watch our special Screen Junkies news coverage from Star Wars Rogue One, where we interview the cast of the film. You will click the boxes and watch. Now, let's move along to some comments. It's not a hug. I'm just grabbing the door for ya. I secretly work for OWCA, the organization without a cool acronym. Punks jump up to get beat down. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. On all levels except physical, I am a depressed starfish.